people running around down towards that b-bomb side not that uncommon for any pistol round really and it's santaris to set it off it's a nice beginning with a headshot but the duelies are back Rimbo there to pick it up it's a pretty decent start right here oh he was so flashed and he still got the kill Crimbo comes in the duelies doing all of the work and that is a nice triple kill it's overall as well you can see big they want to find out what is going on Tamsin he's found out the hard way though immediately gushed and they don't know about tizzy and he's stuck around this should be an easy kill he's electing for the bomb instead it does fall in but that's still a very cool play real oh, oh. oh. you would have guessed that timing wrong if tamson had actually been nearby yeah. that would have been the end of the round right then and there but he's sneaking away p215 hand he's got the pre-aim he's got the pre-fire yeah they're good they realize what's up probably once they once they realize people are down they're like oh we have missed the timing by 15 seconds maybe Santara's up looking for some kills with the AK. Oh, it's looking pretty good right now. Molotov is put out. Utility spent to close the gap. And there's timing. Searson was dead like three times over, but nobody committed to it. There's Tapson. One more kill. Tagged by the scout. And Searson gets a chance to pounce. One for one earlier, for him. But that was uh, 10 seconds ago. He's a little bit late once again. Going to try and go straight for the bomb plant. Big sure. playing this. Is that someone's going to stick their head out. But eventually he's going to be just completely boxed in here. About to be shot at the back too. It's Krimbo with the kill. Gray dropped up to him. That's a lot of resources to not have to worry about that one position. Dizzy and... Oh, that flashbang is so perfect. They're both blind. What a good transfer over all three entry kills. Listen up just having four people there because it's just so hard to defend. So you just keep throwing more and more players down there uh, not in the best position the back to the triple boost though you have to admire it it did, didn't get spotted last time so why not oh tabson's gonna start off here there's a headshot through yeah i mean that that's a nice kill from tabson as well to force them over in this direction oh anything else he's gonna add on top of it not taking the follow-up fight now the real danger is santer is already out and they have no idea this could catch big off guard the triple boost has spotted nothing, and just now they're going to break it up, and Krimbo's going to walk out, and... Ooh, Kallax gets an opening kill. Oh, but he's been found out. Keto, good eyes on him to see that. Trying to get the wall bang shot. It's Tamsin to come, and he's done so much work, and he almost had Woxic as well. And they should be able to get this round. Two versus one. They're going to double team him. And that Molotov is going to... Oh, he's going to actually try and use it as a almost a little bit of a trick there. That is a cool idea, but what's part of that equation, not the reward. Searson goes down early, but another little boost up from Tizian is going to net him a singular kill. Tapson has been doing God's work towards the A bomb really side. Interesting. As well. And Krimbo outside the bomb side. Hard position to check right there. You can tell they weren't quite ready for it, and he lands one more headshot. And that's and just having them crack it open with a strong headshot, but doesn't seem like that's going to happen now. The problem is the time is three well. to three. And that's a, that's a five on spot it. So they might as well go all in. Trying to create a little bit of a gap there. Molotov down. So they're buying a lot of time. And look, who's looking right over Tizzy. And what a nice move. Probably should have been a double kill right there. Santaris, almost the right angle. He almost only fought one of them at a time. But instead, he's going to get traded. Two versus three now. I like this defense from Big overall, so I'm shocked that it's down into a two-on-two. Two. utility to really deal with them, so they're very, very nervous about when this next peak is going to come in. And for that exact reason, look at the clock. Eight seconds. Searson trying to bait out a little bit of a shot. Woxic's got to make a call. Three seconds. There's the tag. Oh, no, and he never saw it. At least a look in. Not super aggressive, but... In case someone was uh, sidestepping it. Nice flashbang to go outside of this. B bomb side. That is a that's a nice move. We've seen more and more. Sis. I like the attempt. I like the idea of trying to take a lot of map control once you see that early fight. Oh, he's gonna swing for it. He's a little bit blind, but he knows they would have to be tucked against the wall, and he actually almost connects with multiple blind kills. Kalix looking for a follow-up peak. Tizian with the flank might be the only thing to get big back into this round. And eternal fire slows it down. Good angle around the smoke from Krimbo. There's Kalix on the flank. M4, lots of health. He's set up for it. Oh, but he walks just a little bit too far. I guess he wanted to get behind the pillar instead. And Kalix oh, coming in with some lay ground. They are getting a little bit close around him, but he's going to be able to take down X-Flout. It's a not a bad shot right there. Got to be careful, though. One missed shot and he could be gone. There's no one behind him, though. He's got the right idea. And Emo, he's going <laughs> to watch him. Just fully exposed to anyone else who might have been there. Searson can add another one as well. Yeah. Quick on the trigger. Walks it goes down. Single. If he wins this. Every kebab. Yes, that's... Any day, any time you want. I'll any alcohol. Call we have to go to Turkey because that is a different experience. It just is. <laughs> kind of a play is, is done with, but... 
They are still respecting it, trying to get the boost on over to catch Shearson, and they executing straight into it. It's I think it's going to be a hard a bomb side to hold, even if you have a lot of people here. All they need is one good flashbang or a running AK. Tizian though and Tabson combining for a nice defense and Calix. Oh, he nearly had that kill and he Another needed a couple of steps. Well. He's going to get it almost. He must have seen the gun barrel. Surely no. Maybe he didn't. Crimbo gets one of them and now he's up on the truck. Basically a war in the quick chat if you bring that up. But it is good. I can't lie. The final Tizzy. round of the half, and I don't think, I don't think Big can afford to lose this round. I think they could. They need, they need more than they have right now. Tabson's trying to give it to them as well. Nice. At the B bomb site, Crimbo still just sticking around just in case, but he'll rotate off now. And Keto turns at the wrong side, so they almost have to commit to this one, and they have to do it really soon. And the, the patience though pays off. Tabson, to yeah. he's got the M. Oh, he's got the AWP though. That's a big problem. Lining it up, there's one. Are they gonna spin in time? They're not quick enough. X Cloud goes down, and some crazy <laughs> no scopes coming up and jumping in. Oh no! And now the knife is out, but it's not enough. They'll run out of time, I guess. Yes. Okay, he's in the right spot. Ooh, that was crisp from Santaris. You like to see that. He's trying to do a little bit more. He's buying a lot of attention for himself, and now he's flashed into the fight and the duelies. They're Let's see what they've got. Ooh. Well, it is in a bit of an opening. They might need more. Still a four on three. Close oh. range, though, and Tizian is out for the hunt. Kalix is going to come up with a bit of a flank, but at least they know it's coming in and it's throwing a couple of bullets their way. Smoke is up, but there's no one diffusing on the other side, and they don't have a kit currently picked up either. Tizian helping out, and this is huge. It just sets you so far back. Double Mac 10 play as well. Santaris flashed for a long time. If Tizian would have kept going right away, I think that would have been almost a free kill. Now, they're going to get it anyway, which is anyone's funny. right on the other side. But Keto must have heard that and tries to go for it, nearly catching the timing of the T-Stairs. And Warksick already seeing one of them out long. So they could probably guess here. They they could almost cheat it out. Nice shot from Warksick. A little bit of uh, too much of a shoulder showing there for Sisson out on long. Tabson goes down. And As you mentioned, nice. I mean, the issue isn't necessarily winning this one. It's winning the follow-up when you look at how much money is built up. Good shot from Krim. All right. That's good. That's probably good. Nice headshot. Taking down Santeris. Sneaking down through the connector. But Waxing is back and he wants more. I believe he could have had that shot. He's actually started to get warmed up pretty well. A lot of those nice flick shots. But just as I say that. Bucket of cold water and the bullet right to take him down. Smoke is so. fading down in the monster tunnel. Is there going to be a flashbang here to set up the kill against next cloud? Oh, he's flashed to him himself and the timing. It could not have been better. Oh, another good follow-up kill. Is he in trying to... For at least 10 seconds, he just has to keep this going. Too tempting, although it does nearly cost him his life. I would just take it easy. Flash to try and set something up. Secondary flashbang as well, but not really catching much of anything yet. Good headshot from Keto, and there's going to be the follow-up even low on health. That AWP out long. Still trying to, about the bathroom, still trying to do a little bit of work. Tabson, one more shot. 10 seconds, and they're going to fake the bomb plant out. Emo comes charging through. He takes the bait a little bit. Almost has the kill, but not quite. And this time, the bomb plant's for real. X Flout on his own, one versus three, and this is such a ridiculous steal out of big. He's in a lot of trouble trying to get through, but instantly. Emor, Emor is in some trouble. Oh, getting spammed as well. Oh, that's just the worst feeling in the world. Yeah, I don't even think he realized what was happening. He was trying to sort of move around as they were just jumping at him with the with the Khalil. Keto, a lot of damage taken, but he won the fight, and that's really the only wow. thing that counts. Tizian pushing his lock into the extreme, trying to get the jumping AK shot off. And he's still going to get the headshot taken down. Santaris, who's short in the tunnel. He did it once. Wasn't even really, I think, assisted with a flashbang. He just walked straight in last time, trying to take the fight. And the timing, it looked like it was good, but somehow... The defense on the other side, standing tall. Tabson's going to be found. x flower with a couple of good kills. And this is what they needed. Actually, he's going to get one more headshot. What a round. Step in the right direction. Still a lot of money even after the buy here on the side of being Imor trying to be aggressive. And it works pretty well. Woxic also getting a kill. Santaris getting hunted down, though. They had the early opening here, but now it's back here in the 2 on 2 Woxic's getting a couple of nice kills, but he's not really ready. Tizian... That is a great read. He hears it all along, and Kalix going to be caught. Wow, that's a quick round to end. It's going to be big, starting on the T uh. side. Eternal fire on the CT side, and Santar is already off with a headshot to take down Keto. They're going to try and see if they can rush that B bomb side, but Imor is here, and they're getting locked down. Grenades thrown on top, and Krimbo. I don't know how he got that kill, but he did. Well, they needed it.
They need to find Calyx as well. He, oh my lord, that's fast. Also, and Tizian adds in another. This is going very poorly for Eternal Fire all of a sudden, but Xanter's there to shut them down if he can catch him. Krimbo has to chuck the bomb up. He's got no HP for this run, so he's just gonna hold the line, sending his teammate forward and saying he'll do his best to keep them occupied, and he's certainly gonna go down. It's just a matter of time. Oh, okay. Here. I'm not even sure they're going to be ready for it, even though they have a couple of people already in position, but are they going to get the kills? Yeah, Emor is there, and that's a nice opening. That is very, very fast for Beak to try and do this kind of thing with. They're eventually going to get shut down, and now the bomb has dropped in the middle. x Cloud able to pick it up, but Sisson is still here, and with the smoke behind him, he can take the fight, go and he's going to get it. Loxic left alone, 1v3, and he's going to come through the smoke around the edge. He's got one. Why not? He's just... Probably so confused about where to even go. Yeah, they're doing everything. They're going to attack Catwalk with one, some presence there, and then they're going to go out mid, and Emor can't hit the shot. And now, what do you do if you're X Cloud? All you can do is push up and up or dark. Enough, rounds over. Tapsons and CT spawn to cut off rotations. And no access to the other side of the map, so a sixth round for Big. That is so well done. That is actually a textbook round coming out from Big. They manipulated the defense just fine, and they had a perfect read of what was going on, round even if it's a three on three right here. So. Yeah, you have to love it. I think I think you identified it as well. I mean, there's some good shooting from Xanteris that are just low impact. A tough break to uh, start the whole thing with. Whatsoever. So good shooting, good tactics from Big. Into the pit, we get Tizzy in, but Xanteris shuts that down. Kallax was having some trouble. Oh, nice find here for Emo. They need that right now more than anything. Giving up the up. Oh, wait. The second time Dang. he's gotten caught. Yeah. But this time was even more crazy. It was right through the smoke, just running Round through. Decision seemed like, like really uncomfortable, like a crazy push through a long smoke. Uh, Xanter's dropping down off elevator. I mean, this is one of your reasons why earlier you said maybe this could be a 2-0. Oh, it, 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 this is the, of, the, of the big side. So they're loving their life right now. Flashbang right around the corner. Another Molotov. But they have nowhere to go. Important win. Important win. But Waxik has nothing to do in the defense. Eventually will. Yeah, they really don't have to, right? Just keep leave him alone. It's not worth it. Season's going to be catching. You know, they're taking a lot of pride in that you gotta be careful man oh not baited out it's a nice idea you jump for your teammate and he sneaks in with in, the aw mid the smg just swings wide for the follow-up fight so here's the man advantage for eternal fire that we wanted to see but good flashbang work means calyx gets blinded santer still alive with that promise but he better be precise him and x cloud each win their fight and sears in the last one left yep oh he spins around he's ready but he's sausage with some mustard you know okay something simple all right, we'll have to make up for it, I feel like. We're gonna have... Ooh, seriously, did he spot the barrel? I think he did. I think he did. Ooh. He's gonna peek out a little bit wider and now gonna press the issue into the B bomb site. Uh, Emor, however, yeah, he's... he's I don't know. In... That's a good, he, they feel like they got it boxed in. Maybe this is gonna work out anyway. Yep, Emor's ready for it. And it's a good double kill to set it up. I guess he was maybe expecting okay. that there would be a rotation. It still seems very risky. And the round he's is outside. Santeris making a lot of noise. Oh, underhand the nade. Not going to catch him, though. Not enough damage on that one. And a Woxie goes down. We know he's got the skill for it, but he has to find that first kill. They're going to double peek him, surely. And see us in this German food. Take me there. We can set it up. I have no and, doubt. We can and then it. I'll do the... Oh, he's going to be falling away. He's going to be caught in no man's land. Yeah, there's no winning this one, Calix. You basically have to win three or four fights in a row, back to back to back, and not even going to be possible. Setting up a bit of a flash, but it is too late. Hedo already in the middle of that swing, and they're going to catch Santeris who admittedly was, he did realize what was going on. He's like, I have to back on out, but it wasn't in time. x Floud down out, the middle. Though. They don't have to fight him, but they're going to do it in there. Only 27 seconds, so kind of running out of time. Looks like Tizian might be going... Oh, wait, they're bringing the bomb back as well. This is actually hard to read. They are middle at the same time here, and Emor and Santeri is getting a couple of kills. Not bad no. at all right now. 15 seconds on the board, right? And the defense is looking hot right now for Eternal Fire. Maybe they could get that second round, although Keto coming in with a spray. He needed to get more than that. And I don't think this is going to happen for Sears. And one versus three, he's going to be found. And, up, and he's looking in the wrong direction. He's going to be out into the open. If, if Big pull the trigger on this upper dark hit into B bomb site, I don't know if I can see a way that Eternal Fire actually is able to hold on to the bomb site. Running out of time, and they've been heard. I'm pretty sure out on long. Calyx already heard them running. Uh -oh. Missing a shot. This is dangerous. That Molotov, it's a little bit too deep. He's going to get one kill, but the bomb is being planted on the other side. And it will be planted, even with a couple of kills there. Searson trying to see if he can fight his way back. One versus three. And this is a real fight. So huge risk. And they're starting to make their way back right now. 
but it's already too late. The double kill, but he's not gonna look right. He's looking left at the moment. So, ooh, yeah, he's gonna go down Woxic. They still don't know his position. Access uh, to the B bomb site denied for Big's retake and a fourth round for Eternal Fire. This is now three rounds straight going back to the first half that they're gonna win in a row. It's something to work with, but um... I just really want to. What do we get a positive amount of? Op is out early in the second half, and he's looking for a fight. Taps and blinded, forced back, forced away. There goes Tizzy in through the smoke as well. Kills come out the third player, rotator over to B, and they just bailed out. So seeing them rush out long like that to take the fight straight up is uh, basically three people there. To see if they can find the right angle for it. Is he going to get flashed? Three comes charging in. That's a good kill, and nearly had the double ding on Emo to take him down. But they're still going to be traded unevenly. Woxic Sears might be coming in, but Eternal Fire have to be not enjoying this kind of a slowdown in the game before the bomb is even planted. Woxic getting picked off. It's getting a little bit worse. Here comes another nade on top. It does some good damage to Emo, but now they're out in the open trying to fight. And they're winning every single fight. Keto and Tamsin with a couple of kills here. And Kalix down in the pit. Low on health for setup, except with a fourth man out here. So last time it was three on long. This time it's actually four of them. Sisson again getting picked off, though. And Tizian trying to come through, but they're ready for it. Eternal Fire, they almost got caught last time. They don't want to do it again. Tamsin, yeah, they're, even though... You could have almost excused Eternal Fire if they just pulled the, the trigger Holy. and tried to go for this bomb site, but they are still a little bit careful. Tamsin's going to even think it's a possibility. Oh, he's going to be a free kill. He's going to be a free kill. Emor completes. Ready, and then the, the damage on Emor as well. Looked like they could have had a good start to the round right here. Tamsin setting up for a couple of headshots, tapping away Crimbo, but he's not hitting anything. And Tamsin, he goes down. This is so successful. Three opening kills in favor of Eternal Fire. They're not worried at all. Oh, Eternal Fire closed the gap to just four. And they are relentless. No way Keto keeps this AWP in hand. He's going to certainly let eternal fire emotionally back into the game you can tell and he sees it nice flick yeah he didn't need a lot of information there molotovs and smokes and everything else this might be risky for eternal fire they're gonna try and make their way through but a lot of defense on the other side emo though that opening it makes a huge difference keto down inside of the bomb site the flashbang didn't work against him and you try to relocate behind that molotov and citizens just charging in there that is an interesting smoke being thrown from the ct side Oof. Searson caught. I wonder if Searson's peak right here is related to... The, oh, they're trying to push on in. Woxic, though, he, he sees it coming. He's eventually going to get caught, but that is a nice two for one. Look at the pair just creeping towards him. Off angle, on time for the jump up, and important trade. Smash. There goes for the CT side. Way too wide. Just one last college try. And there's four defenders at long for big. Xantares leading the way. One player successfully crossed. This time it's looking good. Trade kill for x is what? coming in. But you can see how panicked big is to get back. Yeah. Oh, they actually catch Woxic. Well, and Keto in a prime position to try and get his team to match point right here. Nice little peak attempt, but it's not enough. Stunning headshots coming through. Keto with a double. Out on long, and Emo is making a lot. Especially this position right here, yeah. From Keto is going to be really weak. Oh, uh -oh. Nice little shot there from Woxic, and they're in trouble on this bomb site. Going to be swinging in, but Keto is still all on Crimbo, and the backup is just not coming in time. They line up nearly for a double there, but he's not able to get the spray through, and Santeros will get the headshot, and they have to think about this one big. They don't have that much money in the bank. They got to be real scared, although they've hunted down. It's kind of a Wax fight out of Eternal Fire. Like, when you go down 12-3... 13 to 15 and moving into the 29th round we're going to see more of a quick hit oh, here flash is set up there yep but awp on the other side keto could have been a two for one but now his time is simply up i feel like in, in a big camp there's going to be uh it's going to be hard to, to sort of get in there and they can't really do much they have a smoke to put it out yep they're going to use it they they need to go right now that's a smart move from emo but spinning around is keto and he gets one more kill holding the angle right here big they just need a couple of kills and maybe they could make it ducking down to avoid it it's either really on that eternal fire side but calyx comes in with a kill and now it's a two on two searson and crimbo they don't have that much health left. They've got to be real careful here. Good headshot from x to take one of them down. And Crimbo shot in the back by Wok. Actually, look, I could have worked. Did he spot that? Oh, no. He Don't wasn't in Big's defense. It's Tapson to have contact. And that's Santeros trying to slide out a little bit wide. Now the reinforcements are called in. Now Searson has the angle. That is a monstrous nade on Woxley and X-Flout as well. So they're very low on health when the fight even begins. No bomb plant happening just yet. 
Emo really wanted it. Nice little spam for the smoke. He's even going to do more damage. They're in a lot of trouble right here. Tapson, no problem to get that kill on Wokstick, and uh, it's going to be a... Oh, my lord. This is weird. Keto. Oh, he cannot manage it. He knew what was coming. He knew where the... There's the Molotov into the corner. One position. They don't have to check, but he's still up in the upper dark position. Going to get one of them. Comes running back, and he gets a flick on... Eternal Fire just need to complete the comeback. A five on four advantage provided by Woxic. That's Searson to go down. Keto waiting for the jump up. Yeah, he's got the right idea. Tabson, did he get spotted? I'm not sure. Nope, he definitely nope. didn't. No backup in the middle. Gonna be one of the kills there. Clear Keto. path for them to run. Tizian down by the car, flashes in there, and they spotted him out. Yep, they're gonna try and pepper the windows to try and get rid of him. Up from Long, Calix will take him down. Or two on three. It's doable. They need something stunning right out of the gate. They need a quick kill here to make this possible. And Eternal Fire is playing this so smart, so patiently. Nobody overextending, luring them closer into the trap. Such a better idea to just leave it alone and, and let it Down the middle, let's see. Oh, he is so quick, Woxic. That was, was even a double peek. That yeah. was even Searson was at the low angle and couldn't get it done, but over towards Catwalk. Can we get that smoke off if he just gets, yeah, gets taken straight down? This is pretty good defense, should be. Yeah, as long as Searson doesn't overextend and try and make his way up the stairs. Gonna hold the off angle. Emor walks right into it. Another smoke and a go. Searson's like really casual about all this though. I know. A lot more a lot more pressure coming towards him. Oh, and he gets prepared in time. Oh man. Might not be done yet. A little bit of a nade out for Centaurus. No, the with... split towards the eight bomb site. How do you play this if you're Tizian? Yep, you have to hit the shot right away and the spray will work out. He had his knife out. Oh no. Oh surely not. Five seconds here. There's nothing he can do. He has to keep uh, holding it. The bomb has been planted. Uh, no, no, you, no, no, no. There's no way. X Cloud's on his own. One versus two. Out in the open. He's had every. Uh, and he's ready. Oh, his uh, teammate steps in front and he shoots him in the back instead. And now they seconds back. for this run right here. And they're all. They're basically all grouped up. One good nade could shut this all down. 15 seconds now on the clock, but they're starting to put in some counter nades at the very least. And Centaurus swings out for a huge double kill before they finally take him down with a flashbang. It's actually Searson getting that assist, so I don't know. It looked like a little bit of a team flash, and this is crumbling and falling apart on the side of Big, running out of time here. And it's going to be 18 on... Yeah, and yet, here we are. Out on long Yeah, here we are. Yeah, we, we're getting a chance now. Oh, they nearly line up for it. There's more people out here. Kalix and Emo still alive. The Molotov, though, will burn him at the end. He, he and they take the overtime and put us onto Nuke. And it's, oh, it's looking beautiful right now. Sisson yeah, goes down. We'll just retake it in a, in a 3v1. But out mid, they have this covered so well. One player from CT spawn. Woxic is going to be here for the response. And he's not even needed. 19-16, Eternal fight. To jump up. A little bit late to be doing that. And, oh, a lot of people waiting for him. Mini, that is a cool move. And Kalix, Ooh. wait. He saw the shadow, and he still got... But you can understand why he wants to take it. Keep him at bay for the moment. Dualies are sliding into position. x Cloud finds a kill through glass. It's a Yeah, definitely. Smoke is really, really helpful. Imor is here with the deagle. Oh, wait. Oh, we're not with the deagle. The Dualies. x Cloud actually did find a kill right somewhere. Now, it was a two on four, and now we're back into a two on two. Woxic versus two to try and see if he can hold on to this one. He can go straight for the bomb plant, not even faking it out. And Woxic comes walking in. Smoke that's left on Tizzy and over towards ramp room we go. Small oh. engagement for Anzan Tears that he can't win. But all the pressure coming ramp room now. And X Cloud is the only one remaining to defend. Yeah, nice attempt to swing it around right there, but not going to happen. Kalix, though, should be able to catch this one. Surely there's nothing that Sisa could do. And Emor's going to pick up one more kill. He wants to go for it. Crimble going outside and hit towards the ramp room where there's light support and find access. So first round on the board for Big Zone. That's the lack of coordination that, that sometimes worries me with Eternal Fire. Oh, the four and five. Emo making the jump up over. Tizzy and able to get the two, especially with the Galil on the other side. But he's able to. x comes down to find out what's happening down to the control room. And he's going to get tagged up and killed by keto as they start backing off but a chance for tapson to get some guns on the exit yeah walks it gotta be real careful and he was not ready for it tapson picking up two of them right away that is actually super expensive they're gonna take that awb and try and make a run for it santeras though 
I don't know. They're hunting for him. Smoke is out. Glock inside. Trying to find him on the side of, of Eternal Fire. They want to see if they can take some of the momentum away from Big early on with a round. But Searson hardly stopping for that kill. Takes down Santeras. Tabs and they have that AWP. They really want to put the pressure on. But they got to be careful because there's an M4 out here as well. Incredible flashbang. But Imor is there to help out. Stopping Crimbo. What an absolute save. They would have been dead for sure. And they still Tizian, could. He basically has to win this. One versus two right here. And even then, it might be some trouble. Oh, jumping down already. Molotov is there. Galaxy's going to be forced back. Flashed around the corner. Imor is right in the corner. But oh. look at this work from Tizian. He might have won angle around. is going to be way too deep for him, to be honest with you. Yeah, especially with the time, right? That's left. That's a classic. Don't, don't say we. Uh, All right, yeah. I'll take that you're one on, on you. You're on your island alone with that one. It's fine. Ooh, right. good come through the smoke from Tabson. Grenade. Didn't quite do enough. Oh, man, he almost dies. But look at who's waiting out here. Tabs, and that is an angle that's very hard to check. Santaris just four sitting out four. there. So a little bit interesting. 35 seconds still on the clock. Santaris, a lot of spray down. Krimbo, oh, last bullet flies out of the gun barrel and it takes down Keto. That's unfortunate. Kalix up here. Stunning headshots to probably win the round right there. 25 seconds. He makes a jump for it. He does not want to get found. Need. Oh, it could work out. Got to be careful down there. That blows him up. And the wall oh, back no. and them, But I've got to say, some of them are very questionable. They've got to be a little bit careful. Nice job, Tamsin. Taking what, pistols and MP9s. They should be able to win this round, no problem. Yeah, they'll they'll be all good. Tamsin's going to find the kill in mini. Just a matter of time. Kallax is burning. He does get one kill on his departure. But x the only one remaining. And Searson's going to handle that. You could walk into an AK and never know it and just get yeah, or outside Santaris walking into that one You see emo not even really ready to check for it X-File gonna be in traded the first half where they were just so confident with every play they made across the map That's a worrying sign if you're eternal fire and you're rooting for this defense to stand strong You know looking at how the comeback was happening on Dust 2. I didn't think Eternal Fire were hoping for this, especially because they won the pistol here, right? So they they must have been thinking, this is it. We're setting ourselves up real nice. Good little hunt for Keto. Here's Woxic running away. And Kallik's going to be able to save the gun on the other side. Timing, and he's actually even calling an MP9 over. Tapson wants to clear things over the top. Finds one. He's got to feel there's another one. Woxic at the red box, but never considers the angle. Saw the flashbang come through the smoke. Oh, big win for Woxic. Big's in trouble here. Man deficit and add another on top. Kallax inside the bomb site. It's all going wrong for Big and Eternal Fire are gonna Eternal Fire are going to stop this run. Yeah, finally. Yeah, that would have been really cool. But look at the clock. They're running out of time on the big side of things. Oh, <laughs> inching his way forward with that shot and <laughs> takes Woxic down. There's no recovery from that one. Oh, they're getting wiped out in this. Yeah, there's no way you can't do anything about it, can you? Like you're just you're just he is trying, but eventually they're going to overpower him. Tapping up. This seems like madness. He's surely got no way to win this one. Going to be walking into f all four of them, basically. CT side, especially because the bomb is about to be planted down below. From us up close, and it doesn't even matter. I promise you guys, I'll get Jason back right away. But uh, a lot of the work, he is 13 and 9. Citizen, though, <laughs> right in there. They did have some grenades safe, going but down. Absolutely not. Outside, Santara's on his own. Takes down Tabs. And yeah, again, late no lobby push coming in. This could be insane from the side of Eternal Fire. But with that opening, maybe it's going to be too late. Are they going to get there in time? Yes, they will. Walk sick at the back of the bomb site. X-Cloud got the and one so damage. I mean, he could try and do something if he wanted to. But he's not going to get into the bomb site. Walk doesn't have the same power to it. Oh, here we go. A little bit of speed. Flash coming through. It's a good opening. Kallax, he can't see anything. Woxic, though, he gets one more. And then leaves this back. This is wild. No way to read this, really, if you're on the Eternal Fire side. Searson sneaking in. x gets one, but, yeah, they're in a lot of trouble. The bomb is planted for his position as well. How did they losing this round? I can't believe it. Searson, he tries to jiggle it out. Goes straight for the defuser. Oh, and I think he did it. I think Sizen, that might have been enough with that kill. Even with the kid. Almost commencing outside. Yep. And Woxig losing his patience. Wants to go for it. Emor is there for a quick return, but it's only the one. And four versus three right here. So that's going to be confusing. We're down to 18 seconds on the clock. And this is getting a little bit weird for Big. They've got the whole map, but they just can't find any other players. Finally, 
they get that kill on x cloud and that is enough they go straight That's for the ball on the other fire. side there for tizian but they're not finding any of the shots at the moment here eternal fire they need this last round desperately but searson says no good kill right there calyx on his own one versus two pops open the door and he's gonna get that shot again they're all one bullet away from death oh nice shot from calyx t side they're gonna be making a run for it crimbo's here with the dualies oh and then if they want to fight him to come through on this side and he's going to take him right down. Another good headshot. Anyone else? Crimbo. Ready and waiting. He's repositioned again. Lining it up. And he nearly could have had that. Would have been a great triple season, though. Ice cold. Executing the state like Texas or something, you know? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's bold of you. I appreciate it. Well, um, witnessing a little bit of a ridiculous fight happening through the, the hut of Mini or the roof of Mini there. Somehow... Eternal Fire Bronze coming out right now. MP9 up close, out by the secret. Oh, Tizian almost getting shocked there by Emo. But it works out. Three versus three. Oh, and Tizian wants to go for it before the bomb is down. That is a nice move. Taking the headshot and the backup is there. And this is working out. And Calyx is in some trouble right now. Deagle in a one versus two. And they do have a kit on Tizian as well. No grenades to really put Calyx into a lot of trouble. But they're already down there defusing. He has to swing for it. And he is way too late. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, yeah. We'll work on it. We'll put this kit together. Emo oh, goes down. The, the lowest amount of kills on Eternal Fire. And there we go. <laughs> uh, yeah. A couple of openings. But there's one of them right there. He's ready for the second fight. That's a good read. Yeah, I mean, uh, they have the they have the buffer in the runway, and they they did on us too. I mean, that's shell shocked. Ooh. If they lose some rounds here, but they're allowed to save, you know, three or four guns, they're not really gonna care. They're gonna keep fighting, right? And the pressure is gonna be on all the time. Oh, Citizen is relentless. This is ridiculous. Ah, 2020 Taking flashbacks. Down. <laughs> yeah. There is all uh, great rotations, everything on time, right? No hesitation. And here you see again, he gets a sound cue from the smokes, goes for the peak, gets attacked, but not the frag. Yeah, a lot of damage though. And Santaris, and it's a four on five. Still 50 seconds, a little bit of a jump there. That's scary. They're going to try and challenge this one. Tabson also getting out dueled and down Ooh. below. They haven't even checked. Oh, Crimbo. Hard attack moment for Emo. And they're going to put up a Molotov behind it. This is a smart play. He's trying to buy the time. Not a lot of backup is coming because they're all dead on the other side. Tizian is somewhere on the map trying to help him out, but I don't know if it's going to be there in time. Crimbo getting shot at the back. Santaris is doing well. I'm surprised that Tizian is still alive. Door being open now. And finally, on the board. Well, you know, speaking of, uh, of of the glory days of Big, I was promised by Maui Snake that they were going to come back and do it just, again. Yeah, but everyone's picking them, right? If you pick Big and you happen to be right, you, you know, ah, no yes. one's going to see it coming. Oh, hold the phone. Tizian up close with the 5-7 and a couple of kills, including on the bomb, and they picked up the rifles. Oh, Eternal Fire. They paved the way. They actually set themselves up very nicely for another potential comeback, but they can't keep up rounds like these. Tabs and comes sneaking through and catches X Cloud. And now Woxic might have to run down to the lower bomb side. He keeps going and runs. In. Well, here we go. It's fired up once again. Big. They are one round away from taking this on the third map. It's looking very likely. Oh, they're trying to get down, but the spray is too much. Actually, a crossfire sprays and grenades. Yeah, it's so hard to get out of the door when, when that uh, main spam comes in, right? And the walking age. into a huge stack outside. They know where he is and they're coming for him as well. 16 to 7. As big.